Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Lucas Monster. Today we do have our official Star Wars The Black Series celebration reveals. Now, I already did a leaked video talking about all the reveals once they were actually leaked at Star Wars Celebration before Hasbro officially released them. But now we do have official glam shots. So in this video, we're going to be covering all of the reveals at Star Wars Celebration for Star Wars The Black Series. Real quick though, if you are new to the channel, make sure you go down, hit that like button, and subscribe because we are so close to 10,000 subscribers, which is crazy. I do really appreciate all the support, and I cannot thank you guys enough. And so because of that, we are going to be doing a giveaway at 10k. We're going to be giving away both this Commander Cody and two 12th figures. So if you are interested, make sure you go down and hit that sub button because you do have to be subbed to the channel to enter. And then once we do hit 10k, I'll release a giveaway video. All you have to do is comment on that video to enter. So... If you aren't yet subbed, please consider it. I would greatly appreciate it, and I just appreciate all of the support so far. Anyway, on to the news. First up, we do have four 40th Anniversary Mainline Wave reveals. So this is Wave 3 of 40th Anniversary. And first up, we do have Luke Skywalker, Jedi Knight. And this one does look incredible. Now, the card back is actually, like, the image of him from Jabba's Palace and not during the final duel, which is very strange. So I'm not sure what's up with that, but... Uh, Maybe it's because it's based off the original Kenner figure, but the original Kenner figure had that brown like overlay rather than just the final dual outfit. So I'm a little strange. Uh, I'm a little confused like what's up with that, but the figure looks incredible and uh, it does have the like alternate like shirt chest piece so you can do the open or closed flap, butterfly joints, all that jazz. It is on the new Mando Luke body and it looks incredible. Next up we do have Return of the Jedi Vader and this one is just purely incredible it does have a brand new head sculpt with the obviously unmasked vader head underneath which looks awesome the helmet does come apart in two pieces the top dome piece and the front face piece and he also does have a removable hand for the like broken the broken hand when he gets when he gets it cut off so that's super cool that is a brand new mold as well so really really excited for this vader this one is incredible Next up, we do have R2-D2. This one is a brand new sculpt, head to toe, which isn't actually a correct scale as well because all the other ones are normally too small. But the card back on this one is weird too. They used a photo from Empire Strikes Back for the card back. So I'm not sure if that's based off of the original Kenner figure or not, but it's just a weird choice for card back. Anyway, looking at this figure, this, this guy just looks awesome. Little, like every single compartment opens up and his head pops off. There's a ton of stuff going on with this figure and I cannot get enough of it. I cannot wait to get this guy in my hands. And then last up for the 40th anniversary mainline, we do have the Emperor's Royal Guard. This one's pretty cool. It is just a re-release. We've gotten this one a few times in the line already, but this one is a nice addition for anyone who hasn't gotten a Royal Guard yet, so pretty cool. Next up, we do have the Shop Disney exclusive Force Ghost 3-pack. Really excited about this one because we got a brand new Force Ghost Anakin in it, but looking at the packaging, we do have this kind of set that makes it all in the same box. But they all are still individually carded, which is super cool. Anyway, first up looking at Obi-Wan, this one is mostly re-released, but he does have, of course, the photo reel face update, which is really nice, especially on a figure like this. Up next, we do have Yoda, which is a completely brand new figure. Now, this one is basically reusing the uh, original, like, Luke Yoda 2-pack one from Empire Strikes Back, but this is the first Force Ghost one that we do have on that, like, correct scale Yoda figure, which is super nice. And then we do have Anakin, which is brand new as well. I'm assuming it just reuses a lot of uh, Obi-Wan's pieces, but it does have that awesome Hayden Christensen face, which I absolutely love. I do wish they would have included an alternate face, though, for the original actor that played him, but it's not a huge deal because I still love this. This set is a Hasbro Pulse slash Shop Disney exclusive and will retail for $78, which I think is a pretty fair price considering that, uh, like, this is $25 a figure. So, I mean, that's a few, like, $3 extra, so $26 a figure. Now, that is counting that Yoda as an entire full figure, which is unfortunately not true, but uh, I think for what it is, it's a decently fair price. Next up, we do have a Jabba the Hutt, and he is in this super nice kind of like vintage uh, vintage collection style packaging, and it looks really cool. Out of the box here, we do have this Jabba. So this is the exact same as the original Jabba, but with some slightly updated paint apps. He also does have the exact same 
thing that came with the San Diego Comic-Con version, which is the little frog ball and the little kind of like decorative thing that goes behind him. I don't know what to call it, but it's pretty cool and I'm really glad it's included in the set. And then he also does have Salacious Crumb, which uh, is the newer version with articulated knees. The original one that came with the SDCC set did not have that, but this one does. So this one is an upgrade from the San Diego Comic-Con set, which is super cool. This one is also a Hasbro Pulse slash Shop Disney exclusive and will retail for $90, which I think is a little overpriced, but not horrible. I think I'm just really, really wanting to get this guy in hand. The next up, we do have Cad Bane from Book of Boba Fett. And this one is one that I think looks really good, but it's not one that I'm super desired to pick up. I think he looks great, but I already do own the Clone Wars version of Cad Bane. So with that in mind, I don't know if I really plan on picking this one up for anything other than a comparison. So if you don't have that original Cad Bane, this is a great pickup for you. But for me, it's just not like on the top of my list. Next up, we do have a wearable helmet, and that is the 332nd Ahsoka Legion's wearable clone helmet which is awesome and i gotta say this one was one that i wasn't too excited about when it was first like announced or pipelined but seeing this guy in person and like out of the box here it looks incredible this one's a definite picking up for me i, I might even pick it up on day one because it looks just beyond awesome i cannot get enough of this guy it'll retail for 132 dollars so around average helmet price and i gotta say like i just cannot get enough of this helmet it looks awesome Next up, we do have Pipeline Reveals. We do have the Gaming Greats exclusive Battle Damaged Grievous from Battlefront 2. Super excited for that one. That one is incredible. We also do have the Walmart exclusive Obi-Wan from the final scenes of Kenobi. That one's kind of mid. It's one of my least favorite outfits from the show, so that one's probably a pass for me. But we do have the Walmart exclusive Force Ghost Qui-Gon. Beyond excited for that one. That'll go great with the other Force Ghosts. After that, we do have Pre Vizsla from The Clone Wars. That one is one I'm super, super excited for. It is about time we're getting a Pre Vizsla, so beyond excited for that one. After that is the Target exclusive Battle Damaged Kenobi Vader, another one that I am beyond excited for. I know as soon as I saw that scene on screen, I'm like, I need a figure of that, and they're finally making a figure of that, so beyond excited for that. And then next up, we do have Commander Oppo, and uh, I couldn't understand what uh, the designer said, I believe it was Eric that said it, but I couldn't understand what he said. It's something from a flashback. So I'm not really sure what this oppo is, if it's just going to be a standard 501st trooper, or if it's going to be like the version from Clone Wars with the arrow, or if it's going to be the version like the Hot Toys made. So we don't really know. There's a few different versions of oppo, but we don't really know which one we're getting. But they did use the standard 501st Revenge of the Sith photo. So that makes me think that we're just going to be getting a standard 501st trooper. We'll have to wait and see, but um, yeah, really, really weird like choice, I guess. It's it's weird to call him a, a Commander Oppo when he's just a standard 501st, so I don't know. I interesting. But those are all of the reveals that we did get at Star Celebration. Now, there was a few reveals that we got like 30 minutes after the live stream ended, so I do have a full video of that up right now, but we did get a Rebels Maul from Battlefront 2, as well as a Doc Ondar from Galaxy's Edge. So, pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. Make sure to go check out that video. It is up on the channel right now. But, uh, yeah, really excited for these. This is one of the few like Hasbro live streams that have just been really, really good. I'm pretty satisfied with everything that we got, and uh, excited for more reveals in the future. So, if you guys did enjoy, hit the like button and subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the the next video.